A man named Michael Moore, not the filmmaker, um, was in prison for 19 years. Um, previously um, had been sentenced, was not eligible for parole until the uh, Parole Eligibility Act uh, went into effect in July. He was, from what we've been told, the first person released under um, the, the new candidates for parole. Uh, we had talked with his family prior to uh, his leaving prison and then uh, he's been out since early August, uh, visited with him and just sort of to catch up and, and talk about some of the neat things. He has a job in construction with a family friend. Uh, he has a, a strong family, a mom, has sisters who are sort of there for him and, and it's just it's a neat story at our website, definitely check it out. Um, but just talked about some of the things like first time they went out to eat, he had a menu. It's like, what am I supposed to do? You know, for 19 years, I've been told to wear this, to eat this, to go here at this time. And now I'm thrown out into the free world trying to, you know, make a living. Yeah, no, I mean, Michael's story is pretty incredible. Um, he made a, a, made a dumb mistake as a, as, a, as a teenager, right? I think he was 17 or 18 years old. and. Uh, went with another individual into a convenience yep. store. Um, the other guy had an unloaded BB, BB gun. gun. Yeah. And the end result uh, was an armed robbery charge that got him 20 years. And sort of the backstory is there was originally like a plea deal that the prosecutor uh, eventually yanked. And so he was going to, he was essentially not going to go to prison. Um, and then ended up, you know, getting a 20 year sentence for armed robbery, which is a serious offense. Um, did 19 of those years, got out with the Parole Eligibility Act. Yeah, I mean, it's the kind of thing where um, the beauty of that act is it allows somebody that goes in at 18 year old as a, you know, stupid offender, for yeah. lack of a better way to put it. Sure. Um, something that shouldn't have happened um, to prove as they grow up that they're different, that they're changed, right? Um, and so. You know, Michael only got out a year early. He had a year left on his sentence. Um, but the support network that he's got is pretty impressive. Um, I, I think that's one of the things that the parole board really focuses on when they're considering folks for parole. It's not just what were you put in for, how much time have you served, have you been good or not, do you have marketable skills or not, but like, what's the support network look like for you? Is there family? Are you going back to a bad situation? Um, you know, do you have a job lined up? And to his credit, he had that support network. A lot of people don't have the advantage of that, um, unfortunately.